damn, first Tim Tebow gets cut by the Eagles, now by his girl? Times is rough. Well, good thing he's homeboys with Jesus. And you want to know what the suspected reason is? Well, just hear me out. What is going on, everybody? You see Anthony, even in this week's episode, Top times for Timmy T. And just before we start, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you. So for those of you unfamiliar with the story, Tim Tebow and his girlfriend, former Miss Universe, Olivia Culpo, split up. Anthony, what is up with this TMZ crap right now? What are you doing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's all part of the master plan. I know what I'm doing. Just listen. Now, according to several media outlets, a source close to Olivia Culpo said that the reason why the relationship ended because Tim wasn't giving up the goods. Yes, celibacy and its constant struggle in modern day society. I told you I had some substance here. You little faith. More on that in a minute. But yes, according to the anonymous source, the former Miss Universe had to, quote, break up with him because she just couldn't handle it. And quote, she just can't deal with the sex thing. Let me just first start off by saying, damn, she's fine. And if this is indeed true, Olivia, I have the perfect guy for you. Really good looking, funny, smart. Might be able to help you out in your time of need. And it seems like this isn't the first time the whole abstinence thing has actually hindered Tebow's relationships. See, back in 2009, it was reported that Disney Channel star Camilla Bell actually ended their relationship for the same reason. Now my question for these girls is, going to a notoriously vegan restaurant and everybody in the world knows that this restaurant is vegan and they hold themselves out to be vegan and put out advertisements on how vegan they are and then you get mad when there isn't sausage on the menu. See what I did there? Sausage joke. Yeah. Like, what did you, like, what did you expect? See, you girls probably thought that you were going to be the one to bring them over to the dark side, didn't you? Yeah. Let me just say this one thing about Tim Tebow, okay? He might not be able to throw a football worth a damn, but that dude got some serious willpower. Like, whoa. Better man than me, I probably would have been stripped down in my underwear by the time she was even finished asking the question. And I mean, the girls aren't the only ones to blame here. Now, Tim, wherever you're finding girls at, stop, just don't, stop. If there's ever a time for Christian Mingle, this would be it. Like, this is exactly why that website was created. Now, on to the slightly intellectual segment of this video. Now, this whole story got me thinking of the societal impact here and the dynamics between society and the concept of celibacy. So I did some research, and I came across some interesting stats. Now, according to the Statistic Brain Research Institute, 3% of Americans wait until marriage to have sex. Now, that's 1 in 30. Since my mom and grandma are most likely watching this video, I just want to assure you two that I'm that one. <laughs> now, 20% of Americans in highly religious groups wait until marriage to have sex. 60% of abstainers are women, and 54% of high schoolers are virgins. I mean, some of these numbers are surprising to hear, but when you think about it, not really. I mean, we live in a very sexually driven society with a lot of societal pressures involved with sex at every turn. But this story offers even another good talking point. And that is, if somebody doesn't accept you for who you are and what your beliefs are and your values are, throw them the deuce and keep it moving. I'm not even talking about the sex aspect here. I'm talking about life in general. Don't waste your time with somebody who's trying to change the essence of you. You're perfectly fine the way you are, and if they can't deal with that, it's better off that they're out of the picture anyway. Find somebody that appreciates you for who you are and all the things that make you unique. You can find that. You got something special. I told you there was gonna be some substance here. Huh? You didn't believe me? <laughs> I'll see you next week.